Hello, how are you guys? <clears throat> I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving and are recovering from all of the food and <laughs> I know I still am. Um, so I thought I'd come on today and do some Reiki just to get you ready for the week and help you relax and um, yeah, so. Uh, if you are new, my name is Molly with Sunflower Soul Healing. I am a Reiki master, a Jinshin Jitsu practitioner. And with Reiki, all you have to do is open your heart and receive. Uh, it works on intention. So go ahead and set your intention today, what it is that you are needing, whether it is healing on a mental, uh, emotional, or spiritual level. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and just start shifting and moving some energy. just breathe with Reiki you can watch me you can relax and close your eyes whatever feels comfortable to you you can even have this going and doing other things moving, shifting, clearing some energy. All right, I am gonna play a root chakra singing bowl just to ground us in. You can just take some deep breaths in. Notice where you feel this in your body. Do you feel it in your root chakra? Do you feel it somewhere else? start working on our chakras. I'm going to start on the root chakra, which is at the base of your spine. Beautiful red in color, ruby red. <sighs> Helping with any lower back pain, sciatica, hip, leg, The root chakra is all about feeling in our body, feeling balanced, feeling calm, grounded. And 
this time of year, root chakra is important because <laughs> we are doing a lot of different things. We have a lot going on. So it's easy to get overwhelmed, especially after the holidays. Thinking of our to-do list, all the things we have to do. So just for this moment, just be relaxed and receive. Thank you. And I'm sorry, I thought I had my um, subscription comments on, which I don't know. I'm gonna try and see if I can do this, hold on. If you are a, if you are a subscriber, and you are on here, can you comment so I know that they are on? So sending to that root chakra. Moving all that energy down from your head. a beautiful waterfall. And just clearing any heaviness in that area. Stagnant energy. And you can even just visualize that energy just moving down from the top of your head all the way down to that root, down your legs, to the soles of your feet, just draining anything heavy, stress, anxiety, whatever it is, it no longer serves you. so amazing and wonderful and joyful and fun and they can also be very stressful <laughs> so it can throw us off balance a bit and also the root is all about uh, our survival so money job our home work all of that so we tend to spend more money during the holidays and so sometimes that can get stressful too. So just sending healing to that. And just breathe. Thank you. Thanks for the subscription. I'm sorry, guys. I normally have that those comments on, and I don't know. I, I think I must have done something wrong today, <laughs> so I apologize. So... You can, if you get overwhelmed, going outside is the best way to ground your energy, being out in nature. It's a little bit difficult sometimes in these months when it's colder. All right, let's bring in my tuning fork. Five twenty eight, the miracle frequency.
let's bring in a grounding crystal. I feel like a little bloodstone. Beautiful bloodstone. Grounding, empowering, that green energy, that red root chakra energy. play the root chakra singing bowl again just get out of that head listen to the sounds I'm going to have a sip of water. It's important during energy work that you drink lots of water because we are moving, we are shifting energy. Next, we are going to move to the sacral. Beautiful orange in color, right at that uh, below the navel. So helping with any um, reproductive, uh, issues, hormonal, fertility, bladder, kidney, that lower back again, hip area. So sending healing for that. Thank you. Thank you for all the likes, the shares. I appreciate that. And thank you for being here with me today. So again, let's move that energy down. Moving it down the body. sacral chakra is the water element so a lot of emotions are held there and during the holidays we can have a lot of emotions like I said a lot of wonderful and, and joyous but then there can be times of sadness maybe we're missing somebody that we love or maybe it's difficult so sending healing to that Sacral is all about joy and abundance and moving forward. So if you've been feeling stuck, stagnant, then that sacral chakra probably needs some balancing. And different ways that you can actually balance your chakras Crystals, you can uh, use different crystals to help with, with the chakra in need. You can listen to music to that frequency that hurts. Each chakra has a sound healing. That's why I do the crystal singing bowls. Even wearing just the color of that, it just kind of helps to empower that. So it's like, what are you wearing? Notice like the clothes that you wear. Maybe you're needing that energy.
Sea Girl is all about creativity, bringing in, it's like those ideas, the passion, all those creative sparks. So if you're a creative person, artistic, um, this is a chakra. This is your chakra. <laughs> All right, let's do tuning fork. Beautiful sound, very healing. All right, I want to use some carnelian for that sacral. Carnelian is not only good for the sacral, but also for the throat chakra beautiful orange energy, healing energy. Carnelian is great for singers or public speakers or if you use your voice a lot. I'm going to do the sacral singing bowl and just breathe that energy in we will be moving up to our solar plexus which is our belly our power center yellow like the sun fire energy let's strengthen this giving us energy for the week i don't know about you guys but i'm feeling like oh a little sleepy especially here uh, where I live, it is dreary, and um, it's a good day to watch football, though. I will say that. <laughs> Which I will be doing for the Kansas City Chiefs. Go Chiefs, love Chiefs. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> um, all right, so our solar plexus. Beautiful yellow energy. Power center. Helping us stand in our power feeling confident, determined, helping us with boundaries. Ooh, that can be a hard one over the holidays with family and friends and so just relax, breathe. Breathe and receive. And again, if you are new here, my name is Molly with Sunflower Soul Healing, and I am doing Reiki. It's a, a Japanese healing art modality, and it just helps to balance your mind, body, and spirit, as well as calm your nervous system down, relax you, helps with stress, anxiety. All you have to do is receive and just be. Helps with stress, anxiety. All you have to do is receive and just be, that's it, nothing special. So you can just let me take care of you for this little bit of time. And you can watch me, you can close your eyes, whatever feels good to you. So with that solar plexus, ooh, we're working on our belly. So if you have indigestion from overeating, <laughs> 
too much turkey or stuffing or mashed potatoes or mac and cheese or whatever it is. Desserts, oof, let's send some healing there. I think we probably all could use some of that. So working on that stomach, spleen, liver, gallbladder, also the emotion of worry, anger, just letting all that go. You can get worried. You get worried in this season, right? Just trying to get everything done. Also, working on that upper back area. Empowering you, filling you with that light, that sun energy, that vibrancy, the fire. When we get worn down, our immune system gets worn down. We need that oomph, that energy. down from our head. Down to that solar plexus. You can just visualize that energy swirling, clearing any heaviness, stagnant energy. And I will repost this onto YouTube, so um, you can follow me on YouTube. I repost all my lives. That way you can go back and watch them at your convenience. Or if you miss any, they're all there. Usually post them within the day. And rewatch which ones you like. And the link is in my bio. Or I'm just Sunflower Soul Healing on YouTube. I'm on Instagram as well. So mantras you can say for that solar plexus, I am powerful, I am strong, I stand in my power, I am determined, I am confident. What's 11-11, make a wish. Speaking of 1111, because I that's angel numbers, I will be doing uh, another crystal live on December 17th at 11 o'clock with Dana from Our Mother's Crystals. This time, talking about crystals and angels and all of that good stuff. That'll be a, a good one. How to connect with your angels. beautiful spirit of Christmas magic. All right, I'm gonna do the tuning fork. Miracle frequency. Citrine for that solar plexus. Bringing in abundance. Citrine is great for abundance. It is the best crystal. I would say that in pyrite. Right? We need that in this time. <laughs> All right, and 
let's do the singing bowl. Let's breathe in. Feel the energy. Notice where you feel it in your body. chimes just a little extra oomph <laughs> for our solar plexus a little more sun energy fire power energy for this week ahead we might be kind of drained heart chakra our beautiful heart chakra I'm gonna drink some water I am doing good I am drinking regular water not my seltzers if you guys are on my lives you know I, I love my seltzers I'm trying to be good and just plain water all right heart chakra beautiful green energy green pink energy so just notice, are your shoulders forward? Are your shoulders up? Try and just relax. Bring the shoulders down. Open up the chest just to receive. Let's move any stress, anxiety that might be on that chest area and that heart chakra or the lung area as well. If you've had COVID or been sick, there's a lot of gunk going around so let's clear that energy also the the back high back here just open your heart and receive reiki always works for your highest good on intention Let's just move any stress, anxiety, worry, sadness, grief, anything that feels heavy on that chest. Just breathe and let that go. And sending you love and healing especially to that heart during the holidays if it's been difficult for you sending love support and just visualize me pulling anything out you're wanting to let go anything that no longer serves you. Just imagine it leaving your body. Imagine that energy like a waterfall flowing down, washing away all heaviness. Just cracking open that 
my chest. <sighs> Relaxing the mind. Calming down that nervous system. You can try and just soften your brow, close your eyes. Any heaviness up here as well on your shoulders. with cough, boosting that immune system, that thymus if you've been sick. Love you back, thank you. Love you back, thank you. go in again and reach and just again visualize anything you're wanting to let go I mean just pulling all that energy out all the anxiety all the stress all the worry healing, love, relaxation, support. Just breathe. On that exhale, just visualize. You can visualize almost like a, a smoke or whatever it is that's heavy, just leaving your body. Breathing in light. On the exhale, you're letting go all that no longer serves you. tightness in your chest. Any tightness in your chest. Just moving that energy down your aura. Reiki, you might feel relaxed, you might feel tingling, you might feel emotional. All those are normal. And I do have subscriptions, so if you would like to subscribe, Normally I have my subscription, um, you can send me a request and talk and I did not get that on right, I'm still learning it. So, And I also do subscription only lives, which is really nice. I did one last week, so it's very intimate and, um, and I will do those once a week as well. All right, let's play the tuning fork for the heart chakra, moving that heavy energy
subscription. Lady of the house, thank you. Thank you. Is it Lunch and Box? Lunch and Box Company. Thank you. Thank you for the subscription. That also helps me just continue to make content. So I appreciate that. All right. Moving, shifting that energy. chest and let's move to that back as well helping with blood pressure Helping to stimulate that thymus, so for your immune system, for healing, if you've had the flu, there's the flu has been rampant here. <sighs> Lots of viruses and just with all the gatherings, just kind of keeping that immune system healthy. Hopefully today you can just rest and relax watch some good football before you start your week. If you like football. <laughs> or soccer, soccer, yeah, soccer. Let's bring in some Heart energy, beautiful malachite, healing energy for the heart. Also abundance. And I'm going to play the heart chakra singing bowl. This one is so powerful, so just Breathe that energy in again. Allow it just to fill your heart space, bring you back to center. So sound really helps to move and shift energy quickly and fast. So if you wanna move, shift energy, bring some sound in. You can even do bells. Uh, these are Tibetan prayer bells. so beautiful all right we are moving up to the throat chakra so if you have a sore throat <laughs> if you've been using your voice a lot or um, oh gosh oh probably we need a lot of throat chakra healing because again holidays and family and you're like oh my gosh they're going to be crazy <laughs> maybe 
<laughs> and maybe you're like, <laughs> I don't know. Or maybe not, maybe not, you know? Just saying. So beautiful, thank you, thank you for the subscription. Sorry, my eyes are really bad. I think it says, later Gator, later Gator 22. Okay, thank you. Um, beautiful blue and color, ocean blue. Also that high heart, okay? So again, relax your jaw. Drop your shoulders, open your chest, relax your brow. down from our head. Allow it just to flow like an ocean wave. Thank you for the subscription. I appreciate that. I cannot read the what it is. Sammy, Sam. Sorry, my, again, my eyes. And visualize just that ocean wave almost coming in, out. Also, your jaw going up to your ears. So we're gonna clear all the chatter <laughs> you've been hearing over the last few days. All that noise, that stimulation, just let all that go. You can close your eyes. energy off the shoulders. Try and relax those shoulders. Back of the neck too. Throat chakra is all about speaking your truth. Expressing yourself, your emotions. So if you felt like you weren't able to do that, I can get stagnant and blocked. Send for any sore throat.
sinus pressure, headache. Allow that energy just to flow down like a waterfall to the soles of your feet. Anything heavy, just visualize it draining out the soles of your feet into the earth. Sickness, stress, whatever it is, sadness. Filling you with love, light, and healing. And just breathe. And again, I will repost this one to YouTube. So if you've missed it, it just came on. I repost all my lives there. You can go and watch them. Uh, link is in my bio and my link tree. But I'll repost this one. I have nighttime ones too where I'm not talking, so to help you sleep. tuning fork for that throat chakra. Cola for the throat chakra. Like scooping any of that gunk out. Take a nice deep breath. Feel that sound. Feel that sound. favorites. I think I haven't done this one. I'm also going to do clearing. I'm going to get a sip of water and then we're going to move up to the third eye. Um, I'm gonna work a little more on the ears, all up in here. 
And if this resonates with you, I do in-person and online Zoom one-on-one -on -one sessions. You just have to book through my website. There's a lot of fake accounts out there, so just be aware I will never follow you or reach out to you. They like to do that a lot after lives, so just block them. I only have one account, this account. All right, so let's move up to third eye. Beautiful indigo color, all about our intuition. Connecting with our intuition. Calming that mind down. Thank you. And thank you guys for all the likes, the shares, the follows. Um, I appreciate it. Headache. Um, calming again that mind. Anxiety, that monkey mind. Bringing the energy down from the top of our head. All those lower chakras are open, allowing it just to flow. I think of the third eye, the color, Think of the third eye, the color, like the northern lights, or a beautiful, clear night sky with lots of stars. Let's just soften your brow. You can close your eyes. So just pulling all that energy from your ears, just the noise, the sound, the overstimulation, helping with any ear pain. Thank you. Allowing it just to move down your body. We quiet our mind, then we're able to really hear our intuition, our higher self. Everything just kind of becomes more clear. It's not as easy when we're overwhelmed, and right now that's um, during the holidays. We can definitely get in our head and a little overwhelmed. So Reiki just helps to calm that nervous system down, your stress levels. Helps to bring balance. Helps to bring balance. just watch these whenever you want on YouTube. Go back to it. Find ones that you like that resonate. Fast forward to the part that you like. <laughs>
you. I'm also on Instagram. I don't post a lot there. I do post on my story every day a lot, like inspirational things. So if you want to follow there. Do those ears again, shoulders, shoulder area here, just drop those shoulders. to use for the third eye. And I do a little labdurite. This is what I like, kind of that, they say that labdurite is like the northern stars trapped inside. Beautiful crystal for helping with that third eye, intuition. This reminds me of a butterfly wing or an angel wing. For your third eye. This one's high pitched. Last, we are moving up to the crown chakra. Beautiful purple energy connecting you to all that is. So just allow that energy to flow from the top of your crown all the way down your body. Like light, a waterfall of beautiful energy and light. That looks, oh, thank you for the crown, I love that. And I will have to watch my time because I have a session soon and of course I'm going over. Ah! <laughs> All right. So allow that energy to flow the top of your head. Let's visualize that, moving down to your third eye, clearing any blocks, sinus cavity, ears. Allow it to flow down to your throat. Beautiful ocean blue, moving down your heart space. Moving down to your solar plexus. Down to 
down to your sacrum. Thank you for the gift. Down to your root. Calming your mind. over each chakra, sealing, sealing it, <laughs> so the root, sacral, solar plexus, heart, throat, third eye, ears, crown, let's do one big one, sealing all that beautiful energy in for today, for this week, giving you healing energy to help you through your days ahead. Thank you all so much for being here with me today. Uh, again, if you are new, thank you so much and welcome. Um, I will repost this to YouTube, so if you got on here late, you can watch the whole episode, uh, Sunflower Soul Healing, or it's in, the link is in my bio. Um, so you can follow me, all of them are there. Um, as well as all my information um, if you want to book a session with me a one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I also teach classes so that's there as well. Um, yeah so I'm gonna turn I, I do have to go quickly because I went over because um, I have this session. I'm gonna turn the comments on quickly while I'm cleaning up. <laughs> while I'm cleaning up. So I'm going to look and clean up at the same time. Possibly. That might be too hard for me because I'm... If you guys have any questions. And to all the new subscribers, thank you. Or if you are a current subscriber, I am going to do a, a live just for subscription only this week. Happy Sunday to you. Happy Sunday. <laughs> As I trip and fall over things. <laughs> oh, do y'all have any questions? No questions. All right. I should probably go and get off. But thank you guys. Thanks for everyone who is on. I'll be back on next week. And again, if you are a subscriber, I will do... Um, I'll post something, but we will do subscription only live and um, love you. Have a great Sunday. Enjoy and have a good week. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.